Hello. Hello. What a time we have here on season 11 of Big Brother SS. I have no words. Remember when this week started off as an easy week? Me too. Remember how we can't have nice, easy things in Big Brother SS anymore? Um, literally, Anna Fontes leaving just set everything in motion for this season to be bananas. Yes. No word. And at the end of it, it was Sonny, queen of being inactive, who went home. I feel so weird just talking to no one. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. Um, just absurd on all fronts. More bad gameplay from people, which isn't shocking. We'll talk about them. Um, however, I also saw some really good gameplay. And I am very excited to talk about that good gameplay as well, which is exciting. So there's definitely promise here. The trajectory of the season really confuses me because essentially the mantra of the season is there are no groups. No one can trust anyone. Fend for yourself. Because no one can keep information to themselves. So I, it's just, it's crazy. It, it really is. We're less of 10 individuals playing the game because literally no one will really fight for one another. It's nuts. It's insane. It's the Hunger Games. I'm so excited to see what's going to happen, though. Oh, my God. It's just a mess. This season's a mess. Because I think I'm going to knock on wood, and I, I know I might regret this. But I think I could see any way this shapes out, we have, like, a fairly good winner. No. There are plenty of people here that I think are horrible winners still. I think that if one of these people is going to get to the end and win – then they're going to be good. I'm not I don't want to say any yet. names because I don't want to feel people. I don't want to be rude. But if I'll be rude when we get to people, there are people here that do not deserve to win. But I'm saying that if and the pe other people in the game know that, so if they happen to get to the end and win, then they must have done something right to win at that at, by this point after this point, or they're just next to another dead. I think there are only... That's really, what I worry about. I would say there are only two duds right now. I count three. I'm not counting him as a dud. Okay, interesting. Because I would classify a dud as someone who doesn't really know what's going on and doesn't really do anything. I don't think that's true. I can fit that person in here. Let's talk, though. Let's yeah, talk. I mean, we don't have to be cryptic once we get to them. Let's get to it. Let's just start throwing around names. Me and my vanilla pudding. I had my Wawa smoothie. Shout out, Wawa. To all 10 people who are going to be watching this video. Okay. Let's okay. get to it. Alfred. Always a great person to start off. Always a great person to start off with. We're never going to say anything too bad about Alfred, it seems like. Even though last week he played possibly one of the worst games I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> so, Alfred this week for me. I mean, listen. We're going to bring back the week two mantra. I'm confused. Alfred for me. Currently. I see him being set up well to make it to like the final six. I don't see a world right now where he's able to get past there socially. That's so or early. Come on, stop. I'm saying based off of the current setup of the house. And this is not me saying he can't do it, but I'm saying the way that people talk about him, everyone kind of has him as like their number like three or four, which is a fine position to be in, but everyone like says they're like that he's there like three or four Knowing that, like, Alfred spews his mouth everywhere. He spews thoughts. And he gets in trouble for a lot of the things that he says. Because, like we said, people can't hold on to information. So he tells Jacob, I don't trust Eduardo. Jacob tells Eduardo, Eduardo calls Alfred out for it. 
Alfred tells Paige last week, I don't trust Eric. Boom, Paige, like, you know what I mean? Like, he just gets caught in a lot. And then as soon as he realizes that it could be caught, like, he goes, like, he backtracks and, like, makes up for it. And then it's, like, fine. But, like, that's not a great position to be in. Because, like, people are still just in a constant state of, like, trusting him, but, like, not. So, and for me, I thought that this week was the same thing. If anything, he definitely took more of a back seat this week. I feel like he was less in the driver's seat and more in the passenger seat this week, which I don't think is a bad thing for him. Um, but yeah, I'm just left, like, I'm left feeling a little wary as to where he stands. So for my score, I feel good, but I don't necessarily feel better. And for me, I think a six is actually like right kind of how I feel about Alfred. Maybe higher, but there's too much iffy, wishy uh -uh going on. So I'm at a six. I'm actually going up to a seven. Um, I think that in this gameplay where we describe the Hunger Games, being somewhat connected to everybody is going to be your best bet right now. And I think Alfred really um, does well with his social game. And I think he's great when he's on and talking with people and really making a connection. I think he does really well with that. And I think I think people do really trust him a lot, whether they're at three or four or number, he's three or four for people or not. I think being someone who everyone wants to keep safe is a really strong thing even if it's your second or third backup person. I think that's a really strong thing. And I mean, even like you said, like getting to six, that's still really good to be like, have possibly a guaranteed spot there. So, I mean, we still have another double eviction, kind of another twisty one, two coming up. So, um, but I feel, I feel really strong about Alfred, to be honest. So I'm, I would be, I, I could. I mean, hold on. Let me... I think we'll see Alfred here for a while. I think we'll see Alfred in the end game. I think we'll see Alfred in the end game. I could see us giving him the win. I, I, and, I and I agree with that as well. He's someone that I could see winning. Um. Yeah. Oh, lots of DRs coming in. Oh gosh, no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I like that group. No, Dakota. No. <laughs> anyway okay we'll talk about him later oh no okay anyway anyway okay so much to talk about but someone who doesn't talk at all ashley <laughs> um girl i don't know what she's doing i literally don't listen i don't like i'm starting to think that i was dumb in the beginning because in the beginning she was little miss social talked with everyone but it's the same thing that we said last week we're still just making small. We're still talking about goddamn New Year's. Like, that was a week ago. Get over it, okay? We get it. It's 2023 now. It's cold and minutes. Like, we're, we're here. You're back at work. Yes. We know. Talk some game. The All of the game that she talked this week was like, I don't know where the vote's going to lie. I just want to be in the majority. I'm like, Ashley. Girl. Just being in the majority, what good is that doing you anymore? And then she doesn't have any targets because she doesn't have anyone going after her. And that's because everyone's like, oh yeah, and Ashley's still like literally, like this week more than ever, consensus among the house, even among the other people that are duds right now, are like, yeah, Ashley's doing nothing. And she's in her DR being like, Oh, I was worried that people were gonna come after me for doing too much. And, Girl, no, that's not that's not your problem. Unfortunately, like she's she's super nice. I love Ashley, but girl, you're not playing the game. You're not playing the game. And unfortunately, say it with me, everyone. Bob's Bob's getting getting fours, and I'm staying at my four. I don't have a reason to lower it because she's not in specific trouble. And like maybe she can turn it around in the end game because she could be there, like I guess. But like she's not gonna have I don't think anyone respects her game right now. Even like her close allies is like she can't win. Um, I'm going to, down to a four. I almost said I'm going up. <laughs> I'm going down to a four. Um, I feel the same way. I'm like, uh, I'm like disappointed. I was so excited for her, and now she's not doing anything, and now I'm upset. 
And I, I, she thinks she is doing things, which is the other problem. I know. Like, it'll be one thing if she was, like, Sunny. And it's like, yeah, I'm just not here. I'm sorry. Like, no. She, like, oh, she thinks she's doing well. And there are other people like that. And I'm just like, no, you're not, though. <laughs> in fact, you've talked. Like, I don't even know where her head is at in the game. Because we don't see her, like, talk to anyone or do anything. Okay. <laughs> Brady. I love Brady Zimmer. I love Brady so <laughs> freaking much. Right, that was unrelated. I'm just calling. She's so funny. Like, listen, I will, this is me going on the record. Hello, Scott here. I know in week one, I said, Brady, get your ass back on Earth. You're on opposite planet right now. What are you doing? She's here on Earth now. And that's all that <laughs> matters. She's here now. And here's the thing. I think she's playing a, like a decent game too. People see her as a fire. I, I think her toughest battle is going to be winning a jury vote. But here's the thing that I was really convinced of tonight. We'll talk about next. We'll talk about this current week when we get to next week. But Brady's a speaker. Mm -hmm. And I no longer Pretty doubt that, like if she's there, like she, especially depending on who she's up against, I feel like. You know, like maybe she can pull something out. Were you on so, that call with Eric and Brady? Oh no, it was with Ash. It was with um Alfred. Oh, I was on part of that call. Um, it was like <clears throat> Brady was like like jokingly to Alfred was like, Alfred, name five things you've done in this game. Mm -hmm. And were you there for that? Yeah. And Alfred was like, uh, uh, uh like. He was like, well, why don't you? And she was like, okay, I did this. I did this. I voted in the minority school with me. I did this and this. I'm like, oh, maybe you did do all that stuff. I actually. <laughs> so. And listen, you're always, and this is just another, it's a, it's a double-edged sword. Because listen, Brady could take a back seat in the house chat. That's the one flaw with her game. She could take a back seat. <laughs> yeah. However, you're never not going to know where her head is at. You know what I mean? If yeah. she's with you, she's with you. Yeah. And as soon as she's not, You'll know it. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, And she plays that up. But at the same time, she's thinking more than just like, I'm with the people I'm with and I'm not with the people that I'm not. Because seeing her calls with Jacob today, like she still fought for what she wanted without just falling into Jacob. Seeing her calls with Eric, who is our new upcoming HOH. We won't talk a ton about this week. But like, she's still a very, yeah, she's loyal, but she's a self-interested Player, I'm like I'm really excited for Brady's prospects. I hope she doesn't go home this week. I think it's not super likely. Based on this last week, I was actually really impressed with a lot of the things that I mm -hmm. saw, despite it being a little messy. But I don't even think that she'll take the fall for it all. Like I, I'm, I'm like decently impressed. She's still in a precarious position, so we can't go too high. But I will be raising my score, and I'm going to go to a five. I'm actually raising my score, and I'm going to a six from a five. Um considering the spot that she was in coming out of week four it is like insane what like obviously like i, I mean it's insane that she wasn't in more danger this week e even like with who won hoh like it, it doesn't even matter like with anybody i'm surprised that she wasn't in danger this week and i mean it's looking like as long as things stay the same like it's looking like she could be fine again this upcoming week. So like I, I'm like feeling good about her. Not to mention that what I thought was the funniest, and then she kind of ruined it by speaking again in the house chat. But she said, Eric, you said uh you told me that, or like you said, told one person you were voting Dally out, and you told one another person you were voting to keep Dally. So like, what's up with that? I was like, okay, great. Like Brady's talking to you on the house chat. But then a whole fight broke out between Jacob Dally and Sunny and Brady was not even involved anymore. He just is the spark plug and then is never involved. Which I was like, that is crazy. And then she like said something again. And I was like, okay, you didn't need to do that again. But like, that was so funny. And I'm just like, ah, it's crazy. Yeah. I'm really impressed with that. I love watching Brady play. And mm -hmm. I did not feel that way in the beginning of the game. I love yeah. Brady so much. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, I'll go on record and say I didn't like it. I didn't yeah, like it. I, I will too. Yeah. But I love, oh my God, I love Brady. So funny. Okay. Dakota. Okay. 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 So 
two weeks ago, we were like, okay, really got to watch out for Dakota. He's on the up and up. And then last week, we were like, ah, uh, fumbled the ball. I feel like he's on the up and up again. You know what I mean? <laughs> he is one of, and this shouldn't be a huge positive. This should just be like a trait of a good player. In a game where like information and knowledge is power, holding on to information is generally good. And Dakota is, I think, one of two people that just holds on to information. Just holds on to it and will use it for later. He's got receipts on like everyone and he can target whoever he wants and it would be a fine move in all honesty. You know what I mean? On top of that, I feel like because he was up for eviction in back-to-back weeks, everyone is like, oh, like Dakota, we want to work with you. Yay, yay, yay. And like, he's got Alfred, Brady, and Dally. He's got Eric. He's got um, EJ more than he thinks he has. He's got Yoshi apologizing to Dakota. He's got, at, like, he's got the people. And I think the biggest problem is he's so mistrusting in everyone, which, listen, better that than to trust too much in people. So I really, I really hope that if he ever does assume power, that he doesn't get, like, trigger happy and is like, let me just make the big, like, I, and I don't think he will. I think he will be smart. I am really excited to see what Dakota does. I'm going to raise my score up to the seven that I was hoping to be at last week. Um... This week, I think he navigated very well. And I'm trying to consider his game, his position in the game moving forward as well in my score. I'm going to go up to a seven as well, I think. I think that I'm, he is one that I, I also think is someone to really look out for, especially moving forward in the game. I think a lot of people really trust him. I think all sides kind of see him with them, which I think is good. Um, and I think it's going to be really interesting. I think he he has a lot of ins, and I think really he just needs to gain – I think it would be great for him to gain a little bit of power just to gain some agency in the game firsthand. Um, I think he will also – I think he will be smart and calculated with it. Calculated with it. I don't think he's going to be impulsive. Um, so yeah, I, I, I feel comfortable with a seven for Dakota. Right. Finally. Oh, I have hope for Dakota. I, but then again, he seems to be the one that just gets everything ripped away from him at every other second. So who knows? Yeah, seriously. Oh, okay. On to Dally. I did this last week. I'm going to do it again. I love Dally so much. Oh my gosh, I love Dally. She's so good. She's so good. Um, I have nothing but praise for Dally's game. Um, let's talk about this. She was on the block's final nominee, so actually not starting great. But here's the thing. It was. It was. Uh, we'll get to Jacob when we get to Jacob. What a horrible HOA train. Um. Dally, I think, played this beautifully. The only flaw being, like, maybe don't spend so much, like, fire towards Jacob and, like, try to talk calmly. But that's okay, because it worked out. Um, And the fire actually worked out for her, and I think is actually what got her to stay. And that on top of Brady. Um, Moving out of this week... I think she's in one of the best positions in the house. The fact that she is very clearly the biggest competition threat in the game and stayed seven to one speaks volumes. Um, There are so many other big targets in the game and people's names that are being thrown around 
I mean, looking at the board, Yoshi's name is thrown around. Jacob's name is thrown around. Eric's name is thrown around. What are Eduardo and Ashley going to do? Brady's name is thrown around. Um, Dally, her name is not thrown around as a target at all. And it's crazy. And for my score, it's rare that I raise my score for a nominee. But I thought this week was really, really great. The only reason I'm not going higher than this was because she was on the block and there was there were still some big flaws that could have gotten her in trouble this week. But I think I think Dally is in the mindset of like, oh, I'll just make it as far as I can. And when I get evicted, I get evicted. I'm like, no, girl, I think you can win. I think she she has the power to do so. She's gonna be a big threat in the end here, but she can she can do it. So the only reason I'm not going higher is because he was on the walk, but I'm raising my score to a seven for Dally as well. And I hope I'm higher next week. And I think I should and will be. Yeah, I'm definitely raising my score to a seven as well. Um, I agree with you that I think the fact that she stayed seven to one as the biggest competition throughout the season speaks volumes about her social gameplay. And the fact that when she went around campaigning to people, A, she already had like a chat made with everybody with like an alliance name, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> that she that they people have been talking in um since the start of the season, pretty much. And to have her on her initial campaign pretty much stay with almost all the votes, that that's crazy to me. Um and it really just shows how, how how strong of a social game she's playing and how much she's talking to people and how much it's paying off. Um, and I do agree. I think she's in a, a position to kind of get to the end. So I'm excited to see what happens there. I'm so excited for Dally. She, and she's smart too. Like she's so smart. Mm-hmm. She could, ha- if she wanted to, has proven in her diary room of when she sends in answers that she could have legit five to six comp wins right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and the fact that she didn't win OTEP was a fluke. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. She sent the wrong thing, immediately knew it, and then had the right answer. And it was just unfortunate that she didn't win it. Um, it's going to be tough to get her out of the game, I think. I'm so excited to see Dally in this game. Okay. Now for the opposite. Eduardo. I'll start. I... I think the worst part and the reason why I have to lower my score is because I think the number one reason and the worst thing was that he was surprised that he was the only vote. He has to have no dead. concept. That is bad. That's of what's really going bad. on. Zero concept. Like you're going to tell by being like, oh, like I knew that was going to happen. Or like, he could have been the only vote and like known what was going to happen. That, that would have been fine. He was genuinely shocked. So. And it, it's because he trusts Jacob, who is king of like making things up in his head and gaslighting himself and everyone around him into like thinking that things are true when they are in fact not true. Um, Literally, like for me, it was as early as when Dally found out she was going up on the block, she threw the fit in the chat before the nom- nomination ceremony. And Eduardo immediately went to his DR and was like, wow, Dally really thought she was doing something here. She's going to go home. And I'm like, Eduardo, there was never Sean. Like, this only helped Dally and she was never going home. Like, you're just wrong. You're out of the loop. And not only that, but everyone talks about how you do nothing, but you think that you're here doing like, oh, I'm in a good spot. I can like wheel on deals. Like, no, like no one trusts you. I At least with Ashley, like people are like, Oh, we can like predict what she'll do. She just wants to be in the majority. Like Eduardo, like people, I just I don't uh uh-uh. uh bad, bad. And this is why I'll come back to this and we'll talk. It's gonna be very relevant coming up. Um, but like back to the move, you had the veto, you could have saved Daryl. Daryl being someone that you talked to a lot that had your back, you didn't do it. Now you're down allies and you're left with these people who don't trust you. You know what EJ did last week? He saved the biggest target in the game and kept his ally around. You know what no one talked about this week? That. This whole idea that, like, if you make a move, you're all of a sudden the next big, like, thing on the platter to go home. 
is such a myth. Keep your allies around at any cost. And he just isn't like he's playing so passively. And I just think he thinks he's doing more. And it's not. And oh gosh. Eduardo, do better. Flops get fours. I lower four. to a four. I said four as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's just, what are you doing? Poor Eduardo. Poor Eduardo, literally. Because you can tell, like, <laughs> he thinks he knows what's going on. He really oh. thinks he does. He talked in his diary and he's like, oh, this person thinks they can trust me. I was like, no, no one does. No one's working with you except for Jacob. And what good is that going to get you? Because as soon as someone else gets power, Jacob's going to rat out your alliance. So. EJ. So I said it was going to be relevant. Thank God. Yes. EJ. Yes. Yes. This is why you make moves in this game to keep your allies around. EJ kept Eric around. Save the veto. I know he's HOH. Now, guess who's HOH two weeks later now? Yes. Eric. Guess what was a good move? Saving Eric. People aren't talking about the fact that EJ saved Eric as like a reason to take out EJ. He's doing phenomenally for a long, 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 long time. In fact, no, still am. Because I, I said this on season 10. Active, good gameplay is going to get high scores from me. And what he did last week and was able to maintain this week was for me the first true example of active, good individual gameplay that this season has seen. So like sevens are like a good score, but above that is like, okay, I have confidence that like, you know what you're doing and I see you having two legs in the game. I'm going up to an eight for EJ. I really think that wow. what he did last week was crucial and it paid off in loads this week. And I'm also itching like someone needs to start getting an eight. Like, come on. And I think it is EJ. Knowing what I know now this week, Dakota's gunning for him. And that's going to be a blind spot that he has. But I don't think people are too excited to jump on the Avix EJ train. There are other people that people are worried about. And I think he'll be able to continue to slip by under the radar. I think he's playing really impressively. I'm at an eight for EJ, but it is on the lower eight because I do worry slight. Just, just a little bit, but like I feel good. Yeah, I'm only going up to a seven. <clears throat> I think that his move was great the previous week, and I think it was definitely the right move and a strong move. I think that the fact that he wasn't targeted this week speaks that it was a good, the right move to make. But even this week, I felt him kind of like drift away a little bit, which a little worries me a little bit, um, especially when you're not talking to people as much. Um, moving into this next stage of the game, that could be a little worrisome. Um, but so I'm not going to go all the way up to an eight, but I'm going to go up to a seven. I feel pretty confident with him. I mean, I think he's he's pretty well situated and well cushioned. So. Yeah, I just hope for him that people don't turn on. I, I could see tides turning on him if he doesn't actively maintain things. So we'll see. Eric. Oh, my God. <laughs> Eric. Last week, you did not do anything wrong. You got screwed. That's not what we I said wish that. I was saying the same thing this week. You, he is so lucky that Tally stayed. He is so lucky. Um, this is an example, and the, I, I was screaming through my phone. Why last week, when EJ saved you and made the move to save an ally? because it's crucial to have allies in the game. Do you then win the veto and go, 
Dally is an ally that I know would not put me up and I trust. And I know the HOH says that they have the votes to take her out. But I'm just not going to use the veto because I don't want to put myself in a bad position. Newsflash, Eric, you're already in a Where's bad position. the HOH who's targeting you? Like... You're already like what? There's no harm that's going to be done to your game by saving an ally, and you didn't do it. If and like, listen, Jacob never had the votes for Dally. That was false. But the the fact that Eric heard concretely from Jacob, even though it was a lie, because Jacob believed it, I already have the votes to get rid of Dally. That should have been enough for Eric to say. Okay, I'm saving Dally. Especially, this is the other thing. Eric's still in his diary room. I, I, I literally don't understand what's going on in his brain. Last week, you heard that Jacob was the one to flip all the votes on page. You figured out that Jacob He's was curious. the guy in the house. You learned that Jacob is telling everything that you're saying about Brady to Brady. Because Brady exposed it to you. So why in your diary room are you saying that Jacob is still one of your number ones? Why are you like, oh, I just don't want to piss off Jacob. He's done enough to you. He's not with you. Why are we just appeasing Jacob? It doesn't make sense. You should have saved Dally. And are very, very lucky that Brady caused a storm. That Sunny caused a storm. That Dally caused a storm. And that Jacob misplayed this HOH horribly because this could have been horrible for Eric. Here's the good news, though. In the whole Eric Yoshi fight, which was the, you know, the star of last week, this week, almost everyone went to Jacob and was like, are you going to put up Yoshi? Are you going to put up Yoshi? No one really went to Jacob and said, you're going to put up Eric, right? So, Although he's no longer in many alliances, there is definitely a path for Eric in this game, especially with him being HOH this week, especially if Yoshi goes home this week. There really is a path for him. It's a tough path, but it's a path. And that's more than a lot of people. He has an uphill battle. I'm not raising my score all that much because he should have played this week better. This was on him. But... There is more of a path than there was last week. Last week, I was at a three. This week, I'm going up to a four for Eric. Yeah, this week, I'm staying at my four. Um, I think that... Oh my God, him not using the veto... Like, I, just, so... I just don't understand. Like, you know... Like, you know Jacob is not working with you. Like, you know that. Like, people have, multiple people have told this to you. Yet, why are you still trying to appease him? Like, I don't understand you. Like, I don't want to make an enemy. But he's already coming. He's an enemy. Like. He's already, it it was, it would have been better to secure Dolly as an ally. And I don't get it. Unless, like, he thought that one of his closer allies was going to be put out. But. Oh gosh. Especially uh, if did... you hear that Dally's going home. No, he knew, he knew, he knew concretely that Ashley was going up. And what he should have done was try and keep Dally and Sonny in the game and get the votes on Ashley. Because even then, I think it's possible. You know what I mean? If you take off Dally, Jacob tells you that Ashley's going up. And guess what votes you have? You have your vote, you have Dally's vote, you have Brady that's going to keep Sonny over Ashley, I think. You've got Alfred that'll keep Brady, or that'll keep uh, Sonny over Ashley. And there was a fifth vote. Um, EJ. Boom. Like, this could have been done. This could have been done. I just, like, there were so many clear paths for better things to do. It could have turned out worse as well. Dally could be gone. But I think if he gets out Yoshi this week, he'll take out someone who is majorly coming after him. Which yeah. is... So we'll see. We'll see. I, it's Last not three, good. we have to power through here. Jacob. Oh my 
God. I called it last week that he would be a bad HOH. <laughs> I said he's going to be messy and things are going to blow up in his face. And guess what happened? That. Let's start off with the good because there's not a lot of it. Not wanting to target either side. For Jacob's game, that's great. That was a great read on his part. Do not send home Eric. Do not send home Yoshi. Keep these powers at bay. Make an easy move. Perfect. Nominate Sani. Great. She hasn't been here. You haven't talked to her. No one's going to be mad at that. Do you know who was sitting right there? Someone else that you said you don't talk to? Ashley. Why weren't the nominations Ashley and Sani? It doesn't make sense to me. Why you would put up Dally. I know why you did it. It's because Yoshi or Eduardo or whoever the fuck told you that Dally said, oh, I haven't talked to Jacob that much lately. Big whoop, okay? Like, she was HOH twice and didn't put you up. Very clearly was not coming after you. Zero things were said by Dally to indicate that Dally was going after Jacob. So when Jacob decides... Mind you, I think he was, I think he thinks that he was right in the situation. No, wrong. You were wrong. When he goes to Dally and is like, oh, by the way, I'm putting you up, but it's just as a pawn, so it's fine. When Dally gets upset by that and like freaks out, Jacob is like, wow, you're really freaking out on me about that? And Dally's like, yes, we're supposed to be allies. And you didn't even, you didn't come to me with a conversation like, would you be willing to do this? You told me I would not have done this to you. I didn't do this to you twice. It did not make sense. And his game got majorly blown up. The thing is, though, just the way that he talks to people, he's such a... I don't understand. I don't understand what goes on through his brain. Because he really... There was someone like this on season nine, and I blocked them out of my memory because I hate when... I hate delusion. But Jacob is just screaming with delusion when it's like... Charles. Jake, Jake, who? Charles. Was it Charles? It was Charles. Yeah, it absolutely was Charles. Where Jacob and Eric will get on the call. Jacob is like, I want to take out Dally. And Eric's like, this is new information. Jacob then goes to Eduardo and he's like, we have Eric's vote. And I'm like, that was never said. That was never said. Zero things were said. In fact, Eric like actively said is in the diary room, like, I'm not taking out Dally. So like he he just he makes up things in his brain and like thinks that he has them. That's what happened with Paige. That's why the votes were there, because he just went around to everyone being like, nope, the votes are already there to evict Paige. And the more you say it, the more it becomes true. Luckily, Dally wasn't gonna take it this week. And Dally was like blew up and the votes were not there because no one said they we're on board to take out Dally. You had Eduardo who was going to do it because he thinks he knows what's going on in the house. You had Jacob who can't vote. And then you had Ashley who just like gets told what to do. But if it wasn't going to be the majority, then she wasn't going to do it anyway. Bad. You didn't have the votes. You got caught. You ended up taking Sonny out, which was fine for you. But you made a huge enemy out of Dally in the process, which you didn't need to do. I can't raise my score this week. I think his position is going to end up being like fine. But this is such an atrocity of the HOH that I refuse to raise him for, and I'm staying on my three. Yeah, I'm actually going down to a three. Um, I agree with everything that's said. Um, this was so bad. This was actually terrible. And it's like the whole point of putting up two people from neither side was not to get any blood in your hands and not to make any enemies. And you literally just did that. Like, I don't understand... I think now he finally sees that like people see his game as messy, but like up yeah. through this week, like just the way he gets on the phone with people, he's like, Hey, uh, what do you think if we take up Dally? We have the votes already. I'm like, you don't have the votes. You can't make this move. Even if you wanted to, you're not all that. Sorry. Wait, let's move on. <laughs> Sunny. I have nothing to say. Just like Sunny. She could have been so much better. I'm sad, not that she's gone. In fact, I'm relieved that she's gone. And respectfully, Sunny, that we don't have to like deal with getting you to vote anymore or compete in comps. But she could have she could have been so much better. Rip, at least, I mean, listen, she gagged on her HOH and she gagged on the layout. So 
She can gag. At with... least she didn't provide us nothing, but it was very little. Yeah, Steven's out of the two. I'm also down at a two for Sonny. Um, yeah, not much more to say. Can't wait to struggle to get you on Zoom for the finale. Okay. To that one. All right. Yoshi. Okay. Here's where Eric and Yoshi really differ. Last week, Eric's shit was put on blast. Eric realized he's on the bottom. Started to rework. Yoshi has had a shit on blast. Still hasn't, like, fully realized it. Just realized that, like, other people were playing the game. Called them out for it. And when they didn't go home, is like still targeting them, but it's like, but everyone else is cool with me, so we're fine. No, people want you out more than they want Eric out. And you know what? This week wasn't for Yoshi. Rebuilding. He didn't say much of any like this should have been a week where like he regained trust with people, but he he didn't talk to anyone really besides Dally. And like Dally really isn't too pleased with them either. I'll, I'll, I don't have much more to say. It's just more bad gameplay. There wasn't much of it this week either, but like from what was there, like it wasn't great. At least he had like the bandwidth and like brains to like realize that Dally going home was not good for him. But I he's probably going home this week. Um, I'm going to raise my score to a three just because like he wasn't actively atrocious this week. But like that's the bar that Yoshi is setting for himself. Exactly. I'm the same way. I don't think it can get much worse than his HOH week. Actually, I literally don't think anyone can get worse than Yoshi's HOH week, to be really honest. Um, so I'm also going up to a three, but he is not safe at all moving forward. I'd be baffled. I if he just made hope it he goes home this week. week. Like, it's about damn time. In the words of Lizzo, like, come on. That do be our final ranking. All righty, yeah. Um, about damn time for me to go to bed because it's three twenty. It's almost three thirty. Dear Lord. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see what this week has in store. It's most likely going to be Yoshi going home. I don't see Eric shaking. Eric has no reason to shake things up, and he's very adamant on taking out Brady or Yoshi. So hopefully, a simple week. We'll probably get some house fireworks. Third nom. That could screw things up, but we'll see. I expect it to just be Yoshi goes out the door at our next rankings, and I wouldn't be mad at that either. Okay. And that's week five. Uh, this is pretty quick. Oh, well. We're tired. Okay, goodbye.